afternoon guys it is oh my god i don't know what it is it's saturday the 28th maybe okay <laughs> i'm on a one hour lunch break from work because i am going to start prepping the meat sauce for my lasagna for friendsgiving i'm hosting friendsgiving at my house this evening and i wanted to do homemade lasagna and this is literally my first time making homemade lasagna so I've been in research mode for the last two days and I think I've come up with the perfect combination of recipes. Um, my meat sauce is going to have to cook on medium low for about three and a half hours so I'm doing it now so that way it will be done by the time I get off of work. So what I have in this pan right now is two and a half pounds of ground beef and then I have a pound and a half of sweet Italian sausage that I just taking the skin off of. I'm about to saute that up until it's brown. In the meantime, on uh, in my other pan, I'm going to be sauteing some onions with garlic, portobello mushrooms, and once all of the vegetables are, you know, really good sauteed, about five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna add in a little bit of basil. I'm gonna saute this with some extra virgin olive oil once my vegetables are done sauteing and my meat is done cooking I'm going to drain the oil from my meat I'm going to combine my meat with my sauteed vegetables and then I'm going to be making you know like because I like to do semi-homemade cooking I'm going to be using some a combination of Hunt's tomato sauce and then uh, let me see what I have on the floor Ugh goodness gracious um some ragu meat sauce i'm going to combine the tomato sauce the meat sauce together with my meat and my vegetables some seasoning which i'll probably keep it on light just a little bit of garlic salt accent and italian seasoning and i'm going to cut that on medium low and let that simmer for about three and a half hours i'm going to check on it every once in a while stir it make sure it's not sticking and then i will show y'all what that looks like just from the freshly chopped vegetables. I didn't chop the onions because I didn't have time to do that. Um, it smells really delicious in my house. I did not know basil smelt that good. So I have a lot of stuff going on in my kitchen. So while this is sauteing, I'm going to be straightening up. I've already disinfected the counters with my, Lysa my Lysol wipe. So I'm about to get this meat sauce started so I can get it simmering and hopefully have about 15 minutes left on my lunch break to grab me something to eat. So I hope you guys are having a good Saturday so far and um, all that jazz. <laughs> oh my God, it is smelling amazing in my kitchen. Like it smells good. Um, it smells good. If you guys don't cook homemade or semi-homemade, if you do like a lot of prepackaged foods, frozen foods, oh my God, you have no idea what you're missing. Those things may smell good, but they don't smell as good as a home cooked meal. And I love cooking for the people that I love because it makes me feel good when I see the people that I love enjoying the foods that I'm making them. So I am going to be in heaven. No. I'm going to be in heaven. I'm going to have to season that up um, this evening. But this is what's left of the onions, mushrooms, garlic, basil after I've sauteed it down. I am over here draining all of that nasty greasiness off of my meat and I'm about to add this tomato sauce in there a few more of my seasonings I have Italian garlic black pepper parsley and accent this stuff is amazing for waking up the flavors in your food when it says it it really does it just makes the flavors pop and then I'll put that in there and I'll get my meat sauce to simmering and it's going to be smelling like somebody's amazing Italian grandmother's kitchen up in here because Oh my gosh, I just have a feeling if my grandmother was Italian, this is what her kitchen would smell like. <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and get all this stuff marinating together. And I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to show you my meat sauce. Let me get a top or a lid for my pot. And I didn't, I end up not getting, make sure that's clean, um, the pot and pan set that I showed in my, previously, my previous vlog. I am tripping over everything. Uh, when I went Black Friday shopping or pre-Black Friday shopping because it just wasn't in the budget. I didn't want to stretch anybody else's budget, my budget, my mom's budget. Even though she wanted to get it for me for Christmas, it's not 
a need it's a want so i told her if we had any extra money later on closer to christmas then we can worry about it but if not i will make do with the mismatch pots and pans set that i have now i mean it's beat up but it's working but yeah this is my semi homemade meat sauce everything in this baby was homemade except for the um prego ragu meat sauce that i used but i used um everything else was fresh and i'm gonna let this um bubble and simmer and make my house smell good on medium low for about three and a half to four hours um laura vitale said that when you simmer your meat sauce do not cover it up all the way let the lid on your pot hang off a little bit to let the steam come out because what you want it to do is you want it to thicken up and it can't thicken up if that water is just going to keep cycling through the pot so let that steam get up out of the pot so since my pot is beat up this baby is not going to go in there all the way anyway so probably just going to let it teeter off the edge like that for the next three and a half hours I don't want it to bubble too much so I'm gonna have to keep checking on this in between phone calls um, when I go back to work but my kitchen Woo! smells good in here I put my hair back because now that it's getting longer I don't need any stray strand plopping down in the meat sauce people biting into my lasagna and pulling hair out that's just nasty so we're not gonna have none of that up in my kitchen so I put my hair back all ratchet style and whatever um, but yeah, we're going to have this going and I'm going to clean up my kitchen a little bit because I have tore this thing up. So sweep a little bit around here, maybe mop really quickly and um, just enjoy the smell that is my kitchen. I can't wait till my kids get home and taste this because I usually buy the lasagna that's pre-packaged by Michelangelo's or whatever that you put in the oven for 45 minutes and voila, but this is going to tastes so much better number one because i love ricotta cheese that ricotta parmesan egg mixture that they layered on i like like a thick layer of that in my lasagna and you can't buy thick layers of that um in store bought so i am going to make my ricotta layer not thick thick but you're gonna be able to taste that bad boy so yeah let me go ahead and clean up my kitchen because i have exactly 11 minutes to get back to work and i have not stuffed my face yet so I'm probably just going to hold off until dinner. But yeah, that's how I'm spending my day. Hope your day is going good so far. <laughs> hey guys, I think I have a slight planner addiction. And the lighting on this is really bad. But I just kind of want to show you the layouts that I've created for December. I'm hoping that being creative will help me to stay on task. But this is, I'm just going to quickly go over the layouts that I've created for the month of December. This is just a little inspirational card. But yeah. This is the week that I will be implementing my new YouTube schedule. But yeah. I'm just hoping that uh, this is going to keep me uh, organized and I've included motivational quotes. These um, are little stickers that I can write my to-do list next to. And I can check them off when I'm done because, of course, I'm a huge list maker. Like, huge list maker. And this is my first time ordering from an Etsy shop. So I ordered a little weekly kit. And I really love the way these to-do stickers are laid out. But yeah. I'm really hoping that by um, my notebook or my planner being creative, it gets me a little bit more organized. I really really love this week. It's, I'm just so excited for this week because I'm going to have all six of my babies here with me and it's just going to be fun times. I even went ahead and start planning for January. My sister's coming from Michigan this week so I am going to pick her up from the airport in Atlanta. My birthday's this day so I'm getting me a coffee and I'm going to have faith that that day is going to be a good day but I'm just excited because this is like scrapbooking to me. I used to be a heavy, heavy scrapbook addict, but I don't have time to do it anymore. So this is like a nice medium, like a mixture. I'm sitting here on my call center phone just waiting for 
a call to come in. So I kind of thought that I would give you a, like a quick little flip through of what I've been doing in my planner. I'm going to add a little bit more to this. This is my birthday week. But yeah, I think that's the last day that I went ahead and decorated. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, my planner. I'm really excited about it. And it's been pretty good at keeping me organized. I remember to write my list and check them off because I'm a huge list maker. If I make a list, then I'm more apt to want to do the things on my list. Cut my list. Because I like being able to put a little check mark in that box. So, I don't know. If you haven't purchased a planner for next year, I definitely suggest you head to your local Michaels or your Hobby Lobby and pick you up a happy planner. It's a cheaper version of the Erin Condren planner, but its quality is just as nice. It's just as nice. So, yeah. I smell my meat sauce in the kitchen. Its flavors is just all over my house. So I'm going to take another phone call and then I'm going to go make the ricotta sauce that's going to go in between the later the layers. What is up with my tongue today? <laughs> I'm going to make my ricotta sauce that's going to go in between my layers. And let that get in the refrigerator and let those flavors marinate together too. Alright guys, I'm, um, I'll check back in with y'all in a few. Hey guys, this is my ricotta cheese mixture. It has Italian seasoning. A little bit of other seasoning um, and Parmigiano Reggiano in there. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let the flavors of that marinate while I go pick up the kids from their grandma's and their nana's houses. My meat sauce has been simmering on low for the last three and a half hours. Oh my goodness. It has thickened up a lot and it tastes amazing. Tastes really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because it's only going to take me about 20 minutes to get all the kids together and back home. But yeah, this stuff, I've tasted this. This is amazing. When I come back, I'll add the egg to it and then um, I'll boil my noodles for just four or five minutes and start layering it. It's going to be amazing. Your name? Mm, love it, love it, love it. The noodles good. The noodles are good. What about you? Good, good, good. good no, what's good. on top of it? I know you do, greedy boy. You can't even talk. Look at them jaws. <gasps> Look at them jaws. Mama, what's Elijah on top was of sitting it? right here, but camera came and he ran. Mama, what's <laughs> on top of it? That's ricotta cheese. Try it. Mm, I love ricotta cheese. I love cheese. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. why did you melt it? Because it was in the oven. Oh, yeah. Cheese, cheese, cheese. I like cheese. You got cheese all over your face. Mm -hmm. But how do you get it all with cheese? You ready for it to eat? Well, if you pick it up with your hand. She's like, whatever. She's rocking that natural fro. Ain't that right, Jen Jen? Yeah. Ain't that right, Jen Jen? Say to me. What What? What'd you say to me? What'd she say? Journey. Don't put that in your mouth again. You hear me? Do you hear me? Excuse me. I'm talking to you. 
get your feet off my cards. Do you hear me? Oh, you bad butt. You gonna get pop pop? You wanna pop pop? Everybody's got that item. What's up? I know. Annoying, aren't they, Journey? <laughs> hmm. Go record them. Hmm. Here you go. Go record them. Go record them. Go record them. Hold it. Hold it. Go around and record them. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do? What are you doing? I want to watch the movie. No, you're not. You're not even watching the movie. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, he said you want to take them things. I can't. I'm showing. Okay. Say nay cam over and out. You gotta say over and out. Over and out. I was going to show my lasagna the finished product. Now, I did one where the cheese is like a medium brown. And then I did another one where the cheese is a darker brown. Because I like the top layer of my lasagna to be kind of crusty. And um, the cheese to be darker. So, I made two. Let me, hold on. See if I can get some more light up in here. That's the one where I made the cheese light. It's delicious. Really delicious. And the second one, I made it a little darker. I like the edges of lasagna. Like this part right here, where it's a little crunchy and stuff. That's my favorite part. So yeah, I had... My kids. My kids. I had a really good Friendsgiving today. Okay. Look at this. Come, come, let's see if you can see that. Does anybody else see the spaghetti sauce on my wall or the lasagna sauce? Randomness. Nobody notices dirt on the floor, towels, trash, spaghetti sauce on the wall, but me. Nobody. That's my mama and my niece. Two peas and a get a fabulous pod. I promise they are one and the same. One's just 60 and one's just four. But they could be twins. This, uh, oh God. <laughs> I'm delirious. I'm so tired. <laughs> But I had a good Friendsgiving. I had a really good Friendsgiving. And um, I'm going to end the vlog here. But I have two more sisters that are coming over. Let me let me tell you what time they want to come to Friendsgiving. You see this? 10.44. Nah, Friendsgiving is over. They're trying to come and eat my lasagna and my garlic bread. And I'm not having that. Because if you couldn't come and play cards. If you couldn't come to the festivities. You can't get my lasagna. So. They can come, but they can't eat. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. They can come and eat. Watch your fingers, baby. Ow. Ow. Come here. 
That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Go best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Go best friend. That's my best friend. Turn around. Turn around. No. <laughs> hey, Snake. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> She's like, the light. The light. <laughs> my uh, phone uncharged on me when we were doing the last vlog. So I just came back to tell you guys oh, goodnight. Yeah. Nah. Say night night. Nah, nah. Say night night. <gasps> no, big head. Say night night. Put your foot down. They want to see your stinky feet. Yeah, we had a good day today, even with work being crazy. Move your feet, stinky girl. Hi. Okay. Say give me kisses. Say mm. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and go to sleep, guys. Thank you for joining us for our Friendsgiving. And until tomorrow, say good night. Say good night. She said good night. <laughs> she just don't know it yet, but it's good night. <laughs> um, that we're part of a private Facebook group. So we kind of support each other. And when we want to whine and moan, we do it with each other so we don't take all that frustration and stress out on the customers. She's, they already warned me and they said, go ahead, get you the biggest cup of coffee that you can find and take an extra dose of patience because I'm going to need it today.